And a very American greeting to you, my fellow perfect American accent speaking friends. If you're not yet there yet, that's okay. We are mastering the perfect American accent. And by perfect, we of course mean most generic quintessential radio voice. Not that any accent is less than perfect. And today we're talking about the difference between the V sound. V, is that it? Yep, there's a V. And the W, which, whoa! It's just two V's next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, hanging out, adjacent, best friends. So, what is really the difference between a V and a W? Well, to a native English speaker, a native, um, I don't want to say Native American English speaker, that could be confusing, because Native American refers to indigenous people of North America. But what I'm talking about are people who were born in North America today, or in the last several centuries, will find that the V sound is very, very distinct from the W sound. Now, V, like most English letters, has the sound it makes in the letter. V, 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 V. We have a ridiculous kind of close-up of me making these mouth shapes in these videos, and that's a bit necessary, because what's great about V versus W is that so much of what makes the sound is in the front of the of the mouth, which means that it's not like G or Ha, huh, where it's more difficult to describe what's happening in the back of the throat. No, these sounds, the shape that you make with your teeth and lips, is going to determine the sound. So why is this even worth talking about? Well, in many languages, in many countries, in many places, the V and W make very similar sounds. Sometimes they're used almost interchangeably, if I'm understanding things correctly, which, again, I'm often not. The only thing I'm an expert on linguistic here, uh, linguistically, is American English, so I won't impose any knowledge on you. But if you've ever had a struggle between making a V sound versus making a W sound, wah, the first thing you need to understand is remember that they are not interchangeable in American English. They are distinct sounds. They're not to be used one for the other. Even if something is spelled in such a way that it seems like it shouldn't make a V sound. Such as when Stephen is spelled with a with a PH. Like Stephen, the PH makes a V sound. And there are other situations where a V sound will be formed. And yet, there will be no V. Very common in American English. No problem. We know it's not a phonetic language perfectly. And that's alright. The phonetics, things looking like what they're supposed to sound like, can only give us a clue some of the time. We know that. Now, W, wa, W makes that wa noise. And that's tricky because this is a noise. This is a sound that you can't hold. Wa, wa. If I try to hold it, it simply becomes a vowel. Well, now I'm just going ooh, like some sort of very pedantic ghost. It makes no sense. That's not what we want. But if I hold it later, wah, again, it's the combination of wah, wah, of the mouth opening. So in some cultures, some languages, some linguistic origins, they might sound very similar, but we need to focus on the mouth shape. So here we go. V, v. What's happening here? Well, first off, can I look this way? My teeth, my front teeth with their big old gap v, are biting into my lower lip like I'm in Fifty Shades of Grey or something. V, 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 v. What else am I doing? I'm vibrating. It's voiced in the sense that we are vibrating our, our larynx, our voice box. Va, va, va. You can hold this noise just like you can hold S, but S is not voiced and it's shaped differently. But it's one of those interesting consonants that you can hold perpetually. It doesn't 
make a plosive. It doesn't make a sudden explosion like pa or ba. It doesn't require that because it's just about breath being forced through the top teeth on the lower lips while you're pushing out air and vibrating your voice box all at the same time. V very, very virtuous of you to valiantly facilitate. This is a great monologue toward the beginning of a movie called V for Vendetta. If you want to really practice your V's, watch V for Vendetta. Although because he has a mask, you won't be able to focus on his mouth shape. That's too bad, but I think you're starting to get it already. Now, W. Why in some languages are W and V similar or interchangeable or otherwise sometimes confused? That's none of my business. What is my business is to tell you that W looks like you're not touching the teeth. Wah, wah. The teeth aren't touching. The teeth are not touching the lips. The lips start almost together. Wah, tighter than an O. If it was a hole, it would be an incredibly tight hole. Like an O is kind of tight, but ooh, even tighter. That's a real, all right, I'm being really weird here. This is in SFW slightly, if you take it the wrong way, which you shouldn't. So, wah, wah, wah. Here is the best way I can describe it. You will feel the skin. I know that sounds gross. But the skin on the inside of your mouth, just around the area that I'm pointing at here, you'll feel it press in towards your gums. Wah. Wow. That's a weird, wild, but welcome noise. Weird and wild. That's the W. W, which makes that wah noise. Even though it's not in the name W, the name of the letter itself. Even though a W looks like two Vs, it has nothing to do with V. Not in American English. Not with how it sounds. And again, one more time with V. You can actually hold it. doesn't turn into a vowel. It is definitely a consonant. And it is, is v, 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 v. I'm exaggerating, but you get the idea. V, 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 v. You'll feel like a tingling, vibrating. It might be the most tingly of all the consonants. Vibrates in a different way. We're getting sidetracked. Practice your V's. Practice your W's. If you're already an expert at it, then you are that much closer to being a master at speaking with a perfect American accent. Thanks so much for checking in with us here today. I'll catch you next time.